protein-protein interaction in transcription has been traditionally studied using poor diases. However, poor diases are poorly quantitative. We use biolayer interferometry or BLI to overcome this problem. Compared to poor dan, BLI detects real-time association and dissociation between bonding partners. It also generates quantitative kinetic parameters, which are indicative of interaction mechanisms. BRI technology may sound intimidating, but it's not difficult to learn. To use this technology, one has to have the access to a BRI instrument and the associated software. This video will enable you to easily adapt to the BLI technology. Approximately 10 minutes prior to the start of an assay, pipette 200 microliters of the BLI buffer into a PCR tube. Remove a nickel NTA biosensor from the original packaging by holding the wide portion of the biosensor using a gloved hand. Place the biosensor over the PCR tube such that only the glass tip of the biosensor is submerged in the BLI buffer. Keep the biosensor tip submerged for at least 10 minutes to ensure full hydration. Turn on the Blitz machine. Ensure that the machine is connected to the computer through a USB data output port at the back of the machine. On the computer, open the associated software and click on Advanced Kinetics on the left-hand side of the screen. In the software, type out all appropriate information about the experiment under each respective heading. Click on Biosensor Type and choose Nickel NTA.